That made me doubt the title of artist because I always thought to be an artist you should know the basics. Creation experience is very satisfying. It's always um, you always delay it. It's always a matter of it's like doing the dishes. It's like oh, I've got to do the dishes. When you do the dishes, it only takes five minutes. It's like oh, I've got to. I want to do that painting. Da, da, da. And when you get around to it, you realize why aren't I doing this all the time? It's such a fantastically rewarding thing to do. Satisfying, you know. Yeah. Whereas, uh, and but I have everything at hand. If I had to, like a lot of people have to dig out the paints and the paintings and that, and to get prepared to paint. And I think that's a big setback. If everything's out already, you can just grab it anytime you want. Then it's not about, oh, I have to, it's not, a, it's not such a big deal. You just do it. But I know a lot of creative people that, oh yeah, I haven't painted for some time or I haven't drawn for some time. And, I'm sure they're not happy. I paint or draw every day, just about. If I work on other jobs, I come home, I still paint. The finishing touches, I think, on a painting, when you, when you add those little final details, it suddenly brings something to life. I still actually, um, I am a creative person and a lot of people call me an artist, but I don't know what an artist is anymore. I don't, the title artist bothers me nowadays. I was, I had a debate with someone recently, it turned into a very heated debate an installation artist told me that drawing was no longer an art and no longer necessary and he didn't have to be able to draw to be an artist so that made me doubt the title of artist because i always thought to be an artist you should know the basics you should be able to draw and observe and have that in you. Um, I mean, this guy didn't even lift a pencil. He just created installations where a team of people were putting it together. Yeah, or what about Hearst? I mean, he does. He has a team of people building a cut-in-half cow or a jeweled skull or whatever. And he's the highest paid artist, the living paid artist on the planet. So, I, 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 I don't know anymore uh, what to call myself a, a creative or a, a, a producer, I don't know, but I I'm no longer feel secure in it with the title of artist. I would mainly advise myself to focus more on, uh, on, on one particular thing instead of but I don't know if I could do that. I don't think I would change anything. I don't think I could go back and change because I've, I mean, as an artist, you're an observer. You know? Your role is to look and learn and, and, and how you interpret that. I think my advice to artists would be to, to never doubt themselves, to just go ahead and do it. And um, yeah. Although that advice doesn't get through, I mean, my daughter's very creative, but she doubts herself and never does anything. And I will tell her that, you know, she's a great painter and drawer and she must just do it. Oh, no, I don't do it. So she's, she doesn't have that incentive, really. But I think a, a lot of, there are a lot of creative people out there who doubt themselves. And I think you shouldn't care about what other people are going to think about what you make. You should make it for yourself first.